In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to generate Python code that automates Microsoft Excel. We're going to automate tasks such as joining multiple Excel files, applying formulas to multiple files, and more. So let's get started. Okay, for this demo, I'm going to use this sales data that I have here. These are sales data that are in Excel. And we have sales data from January until December. So there are 12 Excel files here. And the first thing we're going to automate is joining these Excel files. So we want to put all the information from January until December in one single Excel file. And you can do this manually or you can make ChatGPT to generate Python code to do this for you. So let's do it this way. So first, I'm gonna show you the content inside one of these files. So I'm gonna open this one, and this is the preview, and basically this file has only sales data. Uh, in one file, there are 1,000 rows, and if we join all of these files, we should have 12,000 rows. So let's make ChatGPT create a script that does all of this for us. And here's the prompt. It says, I have 12 Excel files named, and then I write the name of the Excel files. So sales January, sales February, but instead of writing all of them from January until December, I just write these three dots and uh, write the last name. So sales underscore DEC, that stands uh, for December. I'm going to make ChatGPT figure out the name of the files. Let's see if it can do it well. And finally, I say use Python to concatenate the data inside the 12 Excel files. Now I press enter and now ChatGPT should create a uh, script that puts all the Excel files in one single file. So let's see how it does this. So here's creating a list with the name of the month, then it's concatenating the strings with the name sales underscore. And well, apparently everything is working fine. And at the end of the code, this DF final is being exported to Excel and this is the name of the Excel file. So this looks good. This looks really good. So now I'm just gonna copy the code and I'm gonna paste it here. So we're using pandas for this, then we're creating lists, and then we're exporting the final data frame that has all the Excel files concatenated. So here is the code. And now before I run this, if you want to follow me, you have to keep in mind that your Python script should be located in the same directory where the Excel files are located. So here I have my Python script and here are all the Excel files. So now I only have to run this code and see what happens. And here I got an error and it says that the file is not on this directory. And well, apparently ChatGPT didn't generate the code that includes also the extension. So here we should have something like this, that XLSX. So with this, we have the whole name of the file. So for example, here sales underscore January, which is right here. And we need this dot X LS X. So here I'm doing this manually, but you can also tell chat GPT to fix its mistake. For example, here it added the extension X LS X. But here just for the sake of this video, I'm doing this manually. So I'm adding this. And now we should have this file concatenated underscore data generated. So as you might remember, this is the name of the of the data frame that was exported. And well, it's right here. So now I'm going to open this file and see if the 12,000 rows are in this file. So here's the file and here is the header. Now I'm going to the last row. And as you can see, the last row is 12,001. So we successfully concatenated the data inside all of these Excel files. And we did this without writing code, but letting ChatGPT generate all the Python code for us. All right, for the next automation, we're going to apply formulas to multiple Excel files. So we're gonna work with this sales data again, and let's say we want to apply two formulas, the sum formula and also the average formula. And here we're gonna work with two columns, the column H and the column J. And for the column H, we're going to sum the values from H2 to H1001. And 
the result is going to be in the cell H1002 and, and we're going to do the same for the column J but in this case we're going to calculate the average. So applying these formulas might look simple when it's only one file but when you have to do this to multiple files for example these files that you can see here it's very time consuming. So we're going to make ChatGPT generate Python code that applies these two formulas to all the files that you can see here. So let's do this. So I go to chat GPT and then I write the following prompt. So here I say, I have multiple Excel files in my directory. Use Python to apply the sound formula from J2 to J1001 and then the average formula from H2 to H1001. Write the results in the cell uh, J1002 and H1002 respectively. So with this, we're going to create a script that does all of this, not only for one Excel file, but for every Excel file that is in my directory. So now I press enter and let's see the code that ChatGPT is going to generate. Okay, ChatGPT generated the code, but this code doesn't look good because here it's not considering all the files that I have in my directory. So I'm going to make ChatGPT to use an alternative and I'm going to tell it, uh, use the glob module. Okay, I told ChatGPT to do it with the, with the glob module, but it didn't understand me. So I tried again and apparently now it's generating the code I wanted. So sometimes it doesn't understand what you want to do or it doesn't do a good job. So you have to try again until you find that desired result. So here, this looks uh, good apparently. And what I'm gonna do is copy the code to test this out. Okay, I pasted the code in PyCharm. I'm gonna run this. And here apparently the code is not working. So I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to fix its mistakes and I'll be back in a second. Okay, ChatGPT fixed the errors and here's the code that it generated. So now I'm gonna run this and hopefully we're gonna get the results that we were expecting. So now this uh, finished with success. Now I'm going back here to my folder and now let's see if the value is there. Okay, I opened one of the files in my folder and now in column H and in column J, we should see the formula. So now I scroll down and here in H1002, we see that there is the average formula and in J1002, there is that sound formula. So we can see that the code is working. So ChatGPT generated the code that added the formulas to every single file that is here. So you don't have to manually uh, write the formulas in every single file that is here, but you can let ChatGPT generate Python code that adds the formulas to all the files for you. All right, now what if you want to change all the names of the Excel files inside this folder? Right now, as you can see, the name of the files is something like this, sales underscore and then the name of the month. So we have from January until December. But what if you want to add the year 2022 in front of the name of the files? So something like this, 2022 underscore and then the current name. So you can do this manually one by one for these 12 Excel files. But if you will have something like 100 files, this will be too tedious. So we can make ChatGPT generate a script that changes the name of all the files with one click. So now let's do this. Here we can write the following prompt. Use Python to rename all the files in my directory by adding the number 2022 in front. So I'm going to press enter and see the code that ChatGPT is going to generate. First, it's filtering only those files that have the xlsx extension and then is uh, adding the 2022 with the underscore in front of the name of the file. So here the code is very simple. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here. So it's very simple and I'm going to open this left panel to show you how the names are going to change after I run this script. So right now, the name of one of the files, for example, is sales underscore APR. And if I run this, now the name is 2022 underscore and sales underscore APR. So as you can see, all the names were changed and now we have the 
2022 underscore at the beginning of each name. All right, and the last automation consists in editing every single row in an Excel file. For example, here I have an Excel file with only phone numbers. And what if we want to add the counter code to each row in this file? So for example, now we only have the numbers, but we don't have the counter code. So if we want to add the counter code, what we have to do, well, in Excel is use the right or actually the left in this case, the left function and then apply it in all the columns. That might look very simple, but when it comes to doing this for multiple files, for example, here I have two files, but you can have dozens of files or hundreds of files, this is not practical. So what we can do is generate code that edits every single row in an Excel file and actually not only in one Excel file, but in all the Excel files inside a folder. So let's do this. In this case, I'm going to add the country code plus one to each phone number that is listed in this Excel file. So here's the prompt that I'm going to create. The prompt says, I have multiple CSV files. Actually, I have CSV files in this case. This is not a XLSX, but is a CSV file. But anyway, it's the same. And then uh, I have multiple CSV files with only phone numbers in my directory. The phone numbers are in a column named phone. So here there is the, the header phone. In this case, the header is going to be the name of the column in a data frame. That's why I'm specifying this. And then I finish this by saying use Python to add the country code plus one to each phone number in the CSV files. And that's pretty much it. All right, ChatGPT finished generating the code and what it did was split the code in two parts. The first part is the function add country code and the second part is a for loop. Uh, it's a for loop where we can apply this function to all the CSV files listed. So what I'm going to do is first copy this code and then go to uh, here to PyCharm and I'm going to open this folder and this empty script. So here I'm going to paste the code and then I'm going to paste the other code that is here. So as I told you before, there are two parts and now I'm going to uh, organize this much better. So the library should be on top and with this, everything should be ready. So here I want to show you that this Python script is inside this folder where there are my two CSV files. So you have to keep that in mind in case you want to follow my steps. So here now I'm going to run this and hopefully this is going to add the plus one country code to all the full numbers. So apparently everything was uh, was successful. And now let's open the CSV files. Actually, I'm just going to open the preview. And as you can see here, we have the phone number, but also we have the country code. So plus one to every single row. So it's not only for this file, but also for this second CSV file. So here is the country code and the phone number. So with this, we successfully created a script that adds the country code to each row in our CSV files. And we did this without writing any code, but letting ChatGPT generate all the Python code for us. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. That's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.